Hey guys, this is Ricardo from Watch With Us channel, and I'm here with Derek Mon from Karen & Co. Karen & Co. is an authorized dealer located in Flushing, Queens, and we're lucky enough to be working with them for a couple reviews on some of the amazing watches that they have coming into their shop. Today, we're going to start with the newest collection from Longines called the Spirit Collection. Derek, if you could tell our viewers a little bit more about Longines for those who don't know a lot about the brand, if you could kind of give us a little background. So in a quick summary, uh, well first, thanks so much for having me, Ricardo. I've been wanting to shoot something with you together and we were talking you know, on Instagram behind the scenes, hey, we should do this, we should do that. And finally, the Spirit Collection came in, it was like the perfect opportunity. We were both interested in shooting this, so uh, we're happy to be here to do this. So a little bit about Long Jeans first. Long Jeans was founded in 1832, so it's a very, very old brand with a lot of long roots into uh, timing instruments. So specifically, they've done uh, timing instruments for aviators such as Charles Lindbergh or Amelia Earhart when she flew across the world uh, with a Long Jeans chronograph. So Long Jeans already has this deep tie with actual pioneers, and that's where this whole pioneering spirit of this spirit collection comes from. And I think it's really cool because uh, in Long Jean's current offering of watches, they have a lot of dress watches and they have a, uh, like a sporty collection like the Hydro Conquest dive watches. But this is something entirely different for them where it kind of fits in between the two. It's like a go anywhere, do anything kind of watch, but it's still a little bit more on the sporty side. And I think that for uh, its price point, which we'll definitely talk about later on too, um, it's definitely a segment that is not really touched upon here. So. so Specifically from the collection, what watches do we have here? So what we have here today, we have the 40 millimeter three hands in date version. We have one in the prestige edition, which all of them can come into prestige edition. And then we have the silver dial, we have the blue dial, and we have a blue dial on the strap. So we can jump right in and look at the similarities and then look at some of the differences between the models. Perfect. We'll see you guys in a few seconds. now so in front of you i have the 40 millimeter spirit collection each of these feature a stainless steel case with brush and high polish around the case 40 millimeters of diameter with a 12.2 millimeter of thickness and a lug to lug of just under 50 millimeters i think the 40 millimeters is going to fit the majority of people's wrists so we have this one in our store to show you today but if you want something larger there is a 42 millimeter at $2,250, so it's just $100 more. And there's also a chronograph version coming later this year at $3,100. But for this video, I'm just showing you the standard three hands and date model. So you can see on the case, there's a nice mix of brush polish with little accents of high polish to accent. It really has this kind of elegant feel where the high polish is just barely accenting certain aspects of the case. Um, while most of it being brush polish does feel like it's more of a rugged tool watch kind of watch. Uh, you can see onto the bracelet, it continues this style with the brush polish and then slightly tapering down um, into the center of the clasp. Now the clasp on here is a double folding butterfly clasp. So when you push the button here, both sides will pop open. It's easy to wear and easy to use and it clicks in really nicely in place as well. Back onto the front of the case, you have this large crown here, which is very common in aviation style watches or pilot watches, and it's good because it's easy to grip with the gloves. So even when I'm wearing these gloves here, I can actually grip onto it. The crown actually does screw down to give you 10 bar of water resistance, and it's quite easy to operate. So pulling it out twice, I can operate the time, and then pulling it down. Even with gloves on, it's quite easy for me to screw in. Uh, so that's useful because if, for actual aviators, uh, they're typically wearing gloves to protect their hands from the cold, and so you need a watch that you can operate the crown easily. There's no crown guards on the case, so it does stick out uh, quite nicely, and the crown has signed with Long Jeans logo, the hourglass with the two wings on the side. On top of the case, you have this nice domed sapphire uh, with anti-reflective coating on both sides. It just creates a little bit of distortion when you come around the edge and flipping the watch over. 
and it's a nice touch for this watch. So these models come in three different versions. First, there's a silver or white dial, which has this nice grained effect that slightly looks metallic or sand-like. Then you have the classic matte black, which makes for straightforward legibility and sportiness. Finally, there's a cool blue somber style, which the blue tone will appear different across the dial on different lighting. Each of these are phenomenally done in their own way, and it's nice that long jeans created variations of the dial texture along with the dial color. Okay, let's take a look at the five star dial here. Both literally and figuratively, it indeed earned those five stars by packing a lot of detail, but keeping everything cool and organized for easy legibility, which is something you can definitely see in its design code. So first off, Longines creates this 3D effect throughout the dial by first applying large Arabic numeral hour markers filled with superluminova and then raising it slightly above the other details. When you look through that domed crystal, you can really see how far higher these hour markers are and they really stand out from the rest of the dial features. Right behind these large Arabic numerals, you have these diamond markers all around which shadows all of the hour markers, and then it corresponds to the five digits of each of the minute track. When you get to the minute track, this minute track is also slightly raised above the center of the dial, and it's nicely kept around the edge, and it tapers into the center with this nice silver trim. And right under 12 o'clock, Longines places its famous hourglass with Wings logo, and on the darker dials, they put this text, the long jeans in automatic and white, while on the silver colored dial, they put it in black. Then to, right above six o'clock, long jeans puts and applies those five stars, which is a claim to long jeans accuracy and precision, since this is a chronometer or cost certified movement, which I'll touch upon soon. At three o'clock on the 40 millimeter models here, you can see that the date window actually matches very close to the actual color of the dial. So it doesn't stick out much. Um, and the text in it is also reverse for the dark dials or the light dials. So on the darker, the matte black or the uh, cool blue, they're in like a black background here with the date. And then here on the blue, it's in a dark navy blue. So the date window doesn't stick out too much and it's simply there when you need it. Also on the 42 millimeters models, there's a slight cutout of the three o'clock marker, but here it's just simply the date. Following the details on the dial, you have the silvered sandblasted sword hands with a red tip diamond second hand, all filled with super luminova, making legibility great in low light conditions. Longines puts all these details together and still keeps it very elegant by displaying time in a practical aviator or pilot style because generally pilot style watches have these large Arabic numerals and features so that way the pilot can quickly check the time and keep their eyes on where they're flying but you don't need to be a pilot to enjoy these subtle nice elegant details of the dial. Inside the 40 and the 42 millimeter three hands with date is the caliber L888.4. It's based off an ETA movement, which as you know, Swatch Group owns both Longines and ETA. So it is a in-group movement. In this movement contains a silicone balance spring, which allows this movement to have longer service intervals, making it more accurate and less oily needed over time. It also has some anti-magnetic properties since it is silicone instead of uh, metal alloy. This movement is also cost certified, which is denoted by the five stars on the dial and by the word chronometer. So it is accurate to minus four plus six seconds a day. And finally, it contains a 64 hour power reserve, which if you see my other videos, you know that I'm really a big fan of uh, watches that are getting closer to three days of power reserve. And I think it's much more practical and functional for most people. Now we're going to talk about the Prestige Edition and what's the difference here. 
So each of these models also come with a prestige edition. It's basically the same watch, except it comes with a different packaging and you get additional two straps. You get an additional brown NATO on it with these quick springboard release system. And you also get a uh, additional leather strap uh, with the pin buckle on it with also that quick spring bar release system. Don't worry, the other piece is just in the box. We're just using it for the purpose of the video. And the bracelet itself has some slight differences that you'll see. So the bracelet pretty much looks the same uh, with the styling of the brush polish with the slight high polish areas. But when you get to the clasp, that's where the difference stops, uh, or the difference starts. So you get a long jeans signed clasp, and it's more of a deployant style. So instead of a butterfly bracelet, now it's a single folding clasp release, uh, which is nice and easy to use. And you get these manual micro adjustments so you can make the bracelet fit even better on your wrist. The coolest part of this is that this bracelet uses this easy quick switch system, which you can see down here by these screws. So basically what I have to do is I press into here and then as I wiggle it out, the bracelet will come off easily without any tools. And that way, if you're traveling with this watch, you're taking on vacation or on a trip and you want to switch out the look of your watch, you can just do it without using any tools. You just use this really handy system. And uh, it's quite nice actually, nice build of this. Put it back in, same thing. You're gonna line it up, push the buttons, and just wiggle it, and there you go. It fits really nice and easily. So Ricardo, now that we've gone over the specs of these watches, uh, what are your thoughts? I have to say, as a collector, I've always been a fan of long jeans myself, um, but this was the first time, I think, since the Conquest collection that they have, which has kind of been their go anywhere, do anything part of their full catalog. This is definitely a step above that, and I appreciate it. Um, there were little things about the Conquest collection. Sometimes sizing wasn't great or the water resistance. It wasn't exactly what you wanted with the sizing. But here, I think they really stepped up their game. Um, you have that perfect um, water resistance that I'm always looking for, that 100 meters of water resistance. You have a nice screw down crown. Um, and there are just so many things about the watch that I like. And I, I think in that price range for what they're giving you, it's, it's a great watch. Um, but Derek, now that you've kind of taken us through the specs, what are your thoughts? Well, I really like this whole collection. I think it's a perfect go anywhere, do, do anything kind of watch. Personally, I would def like if I was going to buy one, I would just go for the Prestige because I prefer the bracelet on that one and I like that easy link system. I think that really fits into the, like if you're on vacation and you bring one watch with you, uh, you have all these other straps, you don't need any tools. And I think that's such a benefit to that. Um, but overall, like, I like a lot of the things that they're doing here. So the movement, for example, uh, silicon uh, balance hairspring, that's for increased longevity and also um, better precision, essentially. And uh, with this collection, Long Jeans is giving five-year warranty on them. And I think that's quite new and great. And I, I hope more brands kind of follow in suit with that and start offering more uh, warranty when they can really back their product with it. And I think that really speaks for itself just in that. Of course, uh, you know, the five stars on the dial we mentioned. Um, this one is like a nod to Long Jeans accuracy. So they're cost certified chronometer watches. I, I, I have to interrupt you a little bit there. Now that you're talking about the five star. Yeah. Overall, I really do love the watch. But yeah, the five star on the dial, it's weird. It's, it's a, I understand where it's coming from mm -hmm. and you did mention it in the specs, but I, I don't know. It, it just seems a little bit out of place for me. What do you think about it? Um, I, I would have to agree with you personally for my own taste. Um, the five star, it does have that tie in. I think of like Admiral, like that, just the word Admiral with the stars. Uh, and of course it's linked to uh, Long Jeans uh, claim for accuracy and precision. Um, I think the watch could have done without it too, but 
uh, you know, for some people it will be a nice touch because it is an applied logo on those uh, for the icons there. So now that you know, we've kind of gone over some of our thoughts overall, mm -hmm. um, well, first, first thing we really have to get out of the way, if you could give our viewers an idea in terms of pricing on these watches, what sure. are they looking at? So for the models we have here today, the 40 millimeter with stainless steel or leather strap, these are 2,150. So whether you get it on a leather strap or a bracelet, it's the same price. Uh, the Prestige Edition, which I mentioned earlier, uh, which comes with the easy switch system and additional NATO and a leather strap, those are $2,650. Mm -hmm. So for me personally, I like that one better just because you get more strap options and the bracelet is also different. Uh, instead of a butterfly folding clasp, it's just a single folding clasp and there's also the easy switch system. Um, and I think that's just a good value in itself. Um, but overall, as a whole package, I think that it's really, really, it's a really strong package. I mean, five-year warranty, silicone balance spring, in-group movement, uh, you have applied numerals all around, the loom is great on here, the sizing is great, 40 or 42, so if you want something larger, you can go for that too. And then you have the option, if you just want the single version you, uh, without the Prestige Edition, you can do that. Or if you want the special Prestige Edition with the extra straps, you have that too. So I think they really cover their bases here in terms of pricing with this. And I feel like it's, it's, a fair, it's very fair too. Yeah, I, I have to agree. Um, I got a chance to actually hold the watch and take a look at it. Um, other than press photos, which, you know, press photos, you could look at them, love the watch, and then you see the watch in hand and you're just like, ugh. That's not for yep. me. Um, <laughs> there are a lot of things about the watch that I really like. I like the fact that they kind of tone down on too much polish. Um, I like the balance between the brush surfaces. You have these bracelets, where, which are for the most part brushed, which I love. Because there's, there's nothing worse than getting a brand new watch and literally within a week you're sitting there and you're like, where did all these scratches come from? <laughs> so I love that. I love the dome sapphire that they have on this. It Good allows point. the dial to pop even more. Love the choices in terms of dial color. For me, I'm a plain Jane type of guy, so I, <laughs> I like the white dial. I also, I always think versatility. One thing I actually forgot to mention, and it's one thing that, other than the five star that turned me off a little bit, is just the lug width. It's that darn 21 millimeters <laughs> that we all hate. Uh, we love our standard sizes. We like 20s and 18s exactly. and 22s. Yeah. Exactly. But the good thing is, four years ago, that would have been a hindrance because most of the companies I would use for straps, they wouldn't have a 21. But things have changed in four years. If I wanted a 21 millimeter strap, something aftermarket, I could definitely find it. So it's definitely something that I'm like, eh. But then when I think about the fact that the system they have on the bracelet, the chances are I'm probably going to be wearing this on the bracelet most of the time. Overall, I have to say I really do like what they did here, and I think it's a great addition to their overall catalog, and I think there'll be a lot of you guys that will definitely think about purchasing this. But that kind of completes our overall review of the watch. Derek, thank you so much for taking the time out and for allowing us to get some hands-on time with these watches. Um, Derek, for those who aren't I'm familiar with you, if you could kind of give them a little information about yourself and about Carrot & Co and exactly um, what do you guys do? Sure. Well, first off, Ricardo, thanks again for having me here to go over the Long Jean Spear collection. Uh, this is a lot of fun and I hope to do more with you. Um, you know, my name is Derek Mon. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram at The Minute Mon or you can follow our store too, Carrot Co underscore New York. Uh, Carrot & Co. is a family-owned watch authorized retailer and also jewelry. Uh, we carry, you know, 25 plus luxury watch brands, Long Jeans, Omega, and many, many more. You've seen some of them on our channel already. And uh, we, we like talking about watches and, you know, for, e for everyone who's seen this video today, uh, I encourage you to come out and try these on because I think this is such a strong package from Long Jeans and I think that uh, you got to see it for yourself. Thank you once again, Derek. Yeah. Um, I know, um, yeah, it's oh, kind of bumps elbow. nowadays. Oh, yeah. Um, but uh, once again, thank you guys. And as I said, this is going to be the first in a series of review. As long as they have the watches coming in, we'll be coming in to review yeah. them. If you guys like this video, please, you know, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to both of our channels, Watch With Us channel and Carico New York, uh, Carico Watches and Jewelry. And also leave a comment on what you guys think about this new Spirit Collection. 
uh, you know, your engagement with our, both of our channels really helps and helps us produce more videos like this. So thank you guys so much for your support and we'll see you guys soon.